congratulations on your Critics' Choice win last night. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What was your reaction when they called your name? Oh, I was stressed out. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, we see Richie go through such a transformation in season two, and I feel like I always found myself crying watching your character, especially the Forks episode, just seeing him go through everything that he did. What was it like for you telling Richie's story in season two and just showing a softer side to him than we saw in season one? Uh, to be honest, I found it was kind of a lonely storyline for me because one of the things I love most about our show is when everyone's together in the kitchen, very frenetic, bouncing off of each other, overlap dialogue, um, that commotion and chaos. And certainly that episode of Forks was a very quiet, really a departure tonally from the rest of the show. And so I was kind of felt, I don't know, a little lonely. I miss my, miss my friends. One of your friends in the show and that I love your on-screen relationship is Fack. I love the Richie Fack dynamic. What's your dynamic like in real life with Maddie, who plays him? <laughs> I mean, Maddie's a very, very charming man. You know, he's like a deeply soulful. He, he, he's a cook. He's a chef. He's a, um, he's a nurturer. You know, he's like he wants to. Um, he's like a connective tissue. I, I adore that guy. Looking forward to season three. What's something you'd love to see happen for Richie in the new season? Um. Well, there's two answers to that because there's things I would like for him. As someone who plays him, I would like for him to find love. I would like for him to find peace. But uh, from an audience perspective and from uh, what I want to play as an actor, I want struggle and, and obstacles and more chaos. You're getting ready to go back to film season three soon, right? Yeah, yeah, in a month, yeah. Have you seen any scripts yet? No, no. no. 